Hello guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, I just want to give you a quick recap of what we have done. So if you remember when we created this rule identity resolution, when we created the rule set, it actually creates two types of object. One is the unified individual, if you remember, and then the other one was unified link. And it did it for all the DMOs, for contact point email, for contact point phone, contact point address. It created unified contact point phone and unified link contact point phone. Similarly, it created unified contact point email and unified link contact point email. So identity resolution creates two new records in data cloud. So first one is the unified profile. This record represents the single consolidated view of the customer. So if you remember, we started with two Sophia Rodriguez in the individual DMO, one coming from Amazon S3 and the other one coming from Salesforce org. So once it came inside of unified individual, it actually, there is only one record created. We have consolidated the profile. Now, what does the unified link contains? This record acts as a bridge connecting the unified profile to the original records from the different source system. And we have already seen it that when we go to unified link, it is connecting with the unified ID and the individual ID. Okay, so that is the two main objects that gets created when you create the identity resolution and the rule set. Okay, so now in the next tutorial, we will talk about consolidation rate and how do you calculate consolidation rate and what is the connection between the matching rules and consolidation rate. So we'll talk about it in the next tutorial. I'm going to see you then. Thank you very much.